हेलो एवरीवन आई हार्टली वेलकम यू आई गौरांग चापा ने भी फाउंडर ऑफ मेकेनिकल गुरु 2020 यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव सॉल्व रिस्ट्रिक्शन ऑन असाइनमेंट प्रॉब्लम बाय हंगेरियन मेथड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन टू गेट लेटेस्ट नोटिफिकेशन एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस द लाइक बटन now i will go to the restriction on assignment problem in today video we discuss the assignment problem in that we cover restriction on assignment so first we understand restriction on assignment it's simple restriction means basically sometimes it is not possible to assign task to specific person due to the unavailability of that person or due to lack of skill or due to legal or any other restriction so the job is to be assigned to other than that restricted resources so in such cases when we have to do assignment those cell cells cannot be used so in that we have to put m that is m the value of m is very large or we can say is a high penalty cost now we go to the example solve the following problem by hungarian method there are five workers and five jobs so here dot is represent the restriction on assignment so in that we have to put capital m even we cannot assign or we cannot cross it let's see how to solve the problem so here we apply the hungarian method as per the hungarian method the first step number 1 square matrix so here the matrix is already square here the matrix is 5 by 5 so step number is completed matrix is square now next step we have to apply row deduction so in that what we have to do in a row deduction simple subtract the smallest element of each row from all the elements of that row so there will be at least one zero in each row so here in the first row the minimum number is 4 similarly in the second row minimum number is 5 third row minimum number is 6 fourth row minimum number is 5 and the last again 4 so simple just subtract this value so here the first here we have to apply m 7 minus 4 6 minus 4 8 minus 4 and 4 minus 4 so here the first row value we get the m 3 2 4 0 and for the second row and 3 0 and 1 third row 0 2 and 3 2 similarly fourth row and fifth row okay so this is the restriction on assignment clear now next we have to apply step number 3 that is column deduction in column deduction same we have to apply subtract the smallest element of each column from all the elements of that column so there will be at least one zero in each row so here in the first row the minimum value is zero so the first column as it is similarly second column minimum value is zero again second column as it is in third column the minimum cost is 2 so subtract it so that column 1 so first 
2 minus 2 0 3 minus 2 1 okay and as it is 4 minus 2 and 3 minus 2 so here we get the value 0 1 m 2 and 1 and fourth column again minimum cost is 0 so as it is column next again as it is now here the step number 3 is completed after the completion of step number 3 in each row in each column we get at least one zero okay so here first column first row one zero second zero third fourth fifth similarly column in each row and each column we get at least one zero now next we hope we apply step number four that is assign zero or mark zero so in that starting from the first row First, we have to go to if single zero, then assign it. If double zero more than one zero, then leave that row or column. So here, starting from the first row, is there any single zero? No, there are two zero, so leave that row. In the next row, is there any single zero? Yes, so assign it. In that column, is there any zero? No. Okay. The next row, is there any single zero? Yes, so assign it. In that column, is there any zero? Yes, here is zero. So just cross it. In fourth row, is there any zero? Yes, so assign it. In that column, is there any zero? No. Okay, in fifth row, is there any zero? No. Now starting from the first column. Okay, first column already assigned, second column assigned. Third column, is there any zero? Yes, so assign it. Now, in that row, is there any zero? Yes, so cross it. Okay, in fourth column, assign fifth column, no zero. Okay, done. So here, step number four is completed. But here, we cannot get the optimal solution. So now, next step, we have to apply step number five, that is tick mark procedure. It's simple, just mark the row that do not have assignment okay so here the first row is assigned second row is assigned third row assigned fourth row is assigned so fifth row is not assigned so simple just we have to tick mark okay here we get the number one now in mark that column that have zero in a mark rows okay so here we already marked in that row is there any cross zero yes so here we have to apply number two now next mark the rows that have assignment in a mark column okay so here in a two number in that column is there any assign zero yes okay so here we have to apply number done repeat the second and third step t no more rows and column can be marked done so here in tick mark procedure point number two is completed now next we have to draw the line so how to draw the line just simple unmark row and mark column so here row number three and row number 5 is already marked. So just we have to draw the line where the unmarked row. So here the first row is unmarked, second row is unmarked, and fourth row is unmarked. And mark the column. There are only one column that is marked. So just draw this line. Done. So here the step number 5 is complete. Now next step, step number 6 that is modify matrix. So in a modify matrix, what we have to do, just simple, identify the minimum elements which is left uncovered in the reduced cost matrix or modify matrix. So here only 8 values, here 2, M, 3, 2, 2, 1, 4, M. In that, the minimum cost is 1 ok so just simple subtract it so here 2 minus 1 that is 1 m 
minus 1 that is m the value of m is very large so in that we cannot subtract or we cannot add it so as it is in third 3 minus 1 2 next 2 minus 1 1 in last row 2 minus 1 1 1 minus 1 0 4 minus 1 3 and m as it is next add that values to that cell which is at intersection of both the lines so here both the line are intersect unmark row and mark column so in that we have to add that value similarly here and here so here m as it is here 2 plus 1 that is 3 and here 3 plus 1 that is 4 okay and keep other cost as it is okay so here 3 0 4 0 second row m 1 0 1 here 0 in fourth row value 0 2 m 3 and last 0 so here the step number 6 is completed modify matrix now again we have to apply step number 4 that is assign 0 or mark 0 so again starting from the first row is there any single zero? No, there are two zeros, so leave that row. Second row, is there any single zero? Yes, so assign it. In that column, is there any zero? No. Next, third row, is there any single zero? Yes, so assign it. In that column, is there any zero? Yes, so here it cross it. In fourth row, is there any single zero? Yes. Assign it. In dead column, is there any zero? No. In last column, the last row, is there any zero? Yes. There are two zero, but this zero is already crossed, so we cannot consider it. So here, single zero, so assign it. In dead column, is there any zero? Yes. So cross it. Okay. Now, starting from the first column. The first column assigned, second column assigned, third column assigned, fourth column assigned. Now, in the last column, is there any single zero? Yes. So assign it. The in that row, is there any zero? No. Okay. So here we get the optimal solution. In each row, in each column, we get the assigned zero. Now we have to find out the total cost. So, how to find out the total cost? Just simple. Here, worker to job means in which worker which job is assigned. And we have to find out the total cost. So, here we get the final answer. So, here the first worker E job is assigned. So, simple 1 to E. In that, we have to go to the original matrix. So original matrix 1 to 8. So here the cost is 4. So simple, just we have to write down 4. In the next worker, which job is assigned D? In that the cost is 5. Similarly, third workers, A job is assigned and the cost is 6. Similarly, fourth one, B job is assigned and the cost is 5. In the last fifth worker, C job is assigned and the cost is 7. The simple, just we have to summation of all the costs, so we get the total cost that is our optimal solution. So the total cost is equal to 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 5 plus 7 is equal to 27. Okay, so we get the optimal. Solution. So this is the restriction on assignment. It's very simple example. Thank you for watching my video. For any query or suggestion, you can contact me. This is my mobile number and this is my mail ID. Once again, thank you everyone.